Good evening to you. Good morning to you. Good afternoon to you. Whenever you happen to be watching this clip, thanks for joining me on this Wednesday. Today's reading comes from uh, Psalm 119, uh, 105 through 112, a familiar text for many that maybe you're familiar with the Psalm scriptures. Thy word is a lamp, a guide, a light, a direction, a guiding, a place of illuminating the path where we're going. I and it, and in the midst of that, it highlights some of the importance of um, the ways in which the that God is the guide and the light of the path in the really difficult times. We kind of find ourselves in seasons that every time I think of that, I know Olivia mentioned in the devotional that uh, she was thinking about a dark forest. I always, my mind always takes me to. Uh, Wesley and Princess, well, I can't say it. Princess Buttercup. Uh, I think of Wesley and Princess Buttercup when they are heading into the forest and it's sort of unknown and dark and creepy and all those kinds of things. But it got me also thinking about how I read something just recently that talked about how oftentimes we think of God's, um, God's journey as a map rather than a compass. Think about the difference between the two. If we if we have a, a map, there's sort of a, a set route typically that you need to take. I know if you type in something GPS on your phone, it sometimes gives you two or three routes with different times and some have tolls and some don't. Um, but I do know that when I've hiked around Mount Rainier before, there's a, a, a map and a path um, that you want to follow in order to get to your destination. Now, a compass, on the other hand, just points in a particular direction, a direction that you're longing to go up. Uh, a path or that you will take in order to, and that in the midst of that, there's sort of all of these unknowns. Um, you're going to hit difficulty. You're going to hit easy path. You're going to hit rocky path. You're going to hit incline. You're going to hit decline. Some of it's going to be easy going. Some of it's going to be rough going. And yet there is an ultimate destination that you will arrive at. And it's sort of this compass. You just, there's a direction and you go. I think, I think our faith journeys are a lot like that is that oftentimes we've sometimes made decisions that have maybe countered the way of God. And the, the beauty of thinking of God in terms of this compass that we go is that God still can draw us in the direction that we need to go. Even though there's sometimes in the direction that we may or may not be going, we find difficulty and goodness and joy and excitement and pain and all that, all that makes up what it means to sort of be on the journey of faith. I don't know about you, but this is a little question was talking about um, some areas in your life right now where you need God to kind of light your path today. And for me right now that the last couple of months have just been really hard, really difficult. There's been some challenges, the um, the difficulty of a lot of transition. Um, oftentimes it can sometimes feel personal, though oftentimes it's not. It's But yet as I've got to be re reflecting about the difficult I don't know about you, but so often I bet there's been a lot of growth that has happened in your life in some of the difficult, painful moments of our lives. For you, it might be a current reality. There might be some difficulty and some pain. Maybe it's a distinct moment, a, a sickness, an illness, a loss of someone close to you. The pain is real. The pain is raw and it's difficult. And yet God, out of his deep, amazing, abiding love for us, kind of just continues to say, this is the way, walk in it. This is the direction, just walk in it. I don't know about you how often that becomes a reality for a lot of us. So you might be in one of those seasons now. You actually might be in one of those seasons that are going really, really well. Uh, and you just, it, the sun is out, the, the path is, is illuminated and lit, you're skipping along the path. It's, it's just beauty all around you. But the journey of faith is oftentimes like a compass. It There's a direction in which we're invited to go. And sometimes we sway one way. Sometimes we sway another. And yet the deep pulsing love of God is drawing us, drawing us, drawing us in. As I talked just a minute ago about some of the difficulties in the heart of just doing ministry these days, I have reflected on this reality. It's been formative and really important. 
I'm going to look back on the difficulties of the seasons of ministry and, and I'm going to continue to have a grateful heart for it because I know what God is doing in me and in us is an important reality as we think about the future together. It's formative and it's important. And so may you on this day um, be reminded of a God who, who whatever path you find yourself in, his word, his, he's saying, this is the way, walk in it. And as you, the path is illuminated, take another step. What does that next step look like for you today? And as we prepare for the coming of the Christ child in a handful of days, may we see the illumined cradle. May that be the direction in which we point our attention and may we walk in it. Christ be with you in this day. You are loved.